Welcome to Libra Life Briefings. I'm Samantha, owner of Love My Libra. Our briefings give you a five minute overview of topics relevant to type ones wearing a Libra sensor. In this video, I'm discussing the news that Libra 3 is on the way. Listen in to hear what changes we'll be expecting when it launches. Last month, Abbott announced that the Libra 3 has received a CE marking. This means that it meets all the EU requirements and is set to launch in some European countries in the near future. Although the UK is not included in this, it's rumoured that a launch will be here in early 2021. We do know that the NHS are in discussions with Abbott and would be making the Libra 3 available on prescription in the same way as Libra 1 and 2. The main focus of the news was that the Libra 3 will be significantly smaller described as two pennies on top of each other. This makes it smaller by 71% in terms of volume and it'll appear a lot more like a button on your arm. We can also see that the filament will not be inserted through the centre of the sensor and this could be because they're now planning to have a one-piece applicator. Libra 3 will be the all singing and dancing full CGM so you'll be able to see real-time minute-by-minute glucose levels directly on a smartphone. You will no longer need to purchase a third-party transmitter such as Meow Meow, Bubble or Bluecon, although their related apps may provide an alternative to LibreView, which itself is getting an update, as we now will have Bluetooth connectivity rather than NFC. A separate reader won't be needed, and apart from initiating a new sensor, you will no longer need to scan your arm to get readings. Whilst most sensor wearers will welcome the use of smartphones as the standard for getting glucose levels, for others it may be a little problematic. What about workplaces where phones aren't permitted, especially those where there's a health and safety concern or a perceived issue with the use of cameras, such as in schools? And of course, smartphones aren't used by everyone some of us still use and rely on the reader. But the data we get should really enhance the management of our condition. Readings every five minutes with a Libra 1 can produce a graph like this, with 288 data points per day. With real-time minute-by-minute readings, a Libra 3 will give us five times as much data, and that equates to 1,440 readings per day. However, on the downside, data overload could become an issue and affect our mental health. The production of Libra 3 has helped Abbott to reduce both plastic and carton waste of the product. But the real issue to many is the lack of a proper system to recycle materials, which it's left to the end user and depends very much on local council facilities. In terms of sustainability, I'd suggest that Abbott aren't quite there yet when it comes to meeting users' expectations. The main competitor to the Libra is currently the Dexcom G6, which costs significantly more than the Libra and availability on the NHS is very limited. Dexcom are due to release the G7 in early 2021 and this will be disc shaped rather than the current lozenge form, and slimmer too, so putting it on a par with Libra 3. It's also been hinted at that the 10-day period is to be extended, so improving convenience and value for money. And there are other CGMs entering the market, such as the Glucomen sensor shown here. Other medtech providers are also expected to follow in 2021, as competition intensifies. To conclude, these are the key takeaway points from the limited information we currently have available on the Libra 3. An additional point is that Abbott have been working towards integrating the Libra with the automated insulin delivery systems, so expect this to be available with Tandem and Insulate towards the end of 2021, or perhaps a little later. Thank you for listening. I know lots of the diabetes community are eager to know more about the Libra 3, and we can only hope that we won't be waiting for too long. Follow us on social media to hear more just as soon as we get an update. Bye for now.